My name is Kwame Anwachi, and I'm the owner of Philly Wing Fry and the executive chef at Kith and Kin. I'm a 2018 Star Chef's DC Rising Star. I, I don't like to get pigeonholed into a certain type of cuisine. Uh, Kith and Kin, for example, we do Afro-Caribbean cuisine. And at Philly Wing Fry, I do refined Philly cheesesteaks. So what I love about Kith and Kin is that it represents a group of people that pretty much go unnoticed in the culinary industry. It's really special to me to have this restaurant, not only um, for my food memories, but for everyone else's food memories that now can celebrate their cuisine um, in a place like this. So one of the reasons why the Vitamix blender is the best is because it's so powerful. You know, we use the blender for a lot of different purees in the restaurant, and it helps get the purees really, really smooth a lot quicker than other commercial blenders. Today I'll be making king crab in a curry bermonte with spiced shrimp chips utilizing the VP3. You know, king crab isn't the first protein you think of when you think about curry, but uh, I grew up around, you know, my aunts and uncles who are Jamaican and we always ate a lot of curry. And also on one of my first trips to Jamaica, they sold curried crab on the side of the road. And uh, I really, really enjoyed it. And when I came back here, I never saw it again. So um, when I was creating this restaurant, I went through all my food memories and all the recipes that I really loved growing up. And the thing that came to mind was the crab curry. So for the curry spice, I'm putting about seven different spices into the VP3. We have turmeric, allspice, cumin, fenugreek, cardamom, and aniseed, and mustard seed. For the curry powder, I'm looking for a powdery consistency. Pretty much every single step of the way, I'm utilizing the VP3. You know, with the chips, I make a shrimp uh, puree and then dehydrate it and then fry it till it puffs up. Um, and that's really an Indonesian or Southeast Asian technique of uh, making shrimp chips. So you'll see a lot of different um, cultures and influences for this dish. So for the shrimp chips, I'm looking for an entirely different consistency than what I got for the curry powder. I'm looking for a paste-like consistency so I can spread it thin and then it can dehydrate into a thin twill. So for the curry bermonte, I'm adding a little bit of ginger garlic puree to the pan with some butter. I'm gonna cook that out until the ginger and garlic uh, raw flavor is, is gone. I'm also gonna add some curry powder to this and let that toast in the uh, ginger garlic puree again. As I'm adding the butter, the butter is emulsifying into the ginger and garlic puree. It's adding a sheen for one from all of the oil and fat. It's also adding some body and some texture and creaminess to this sauce. By adding cold butter cubes to the hot ginger garlic puree, it's stabilizing the sauce so it won't break as well. So we're gonna dehydrate the shrimp chips and then fry them at 400 degrees until they puff up. So the flavor profile of this dish is pretty much like warm and bright. You know, you have the warm toasted curry uh, flavor and very aromatic flavor from all those different spices. And then the finger lime really brightens it up. The shrimp chips add great texture and the king crab add briny notes. And here is the king crab in a curry bermonte with spiced shrimp chips.